Okay, I got some mouflon over here. Check out and see what's in here. Got a three-star mature. He can stay. An adult one-star. He can go. There's two adult one-stars need to be taken out. And the rest are females. So we'll see if we can stalk up a little bit and get a shot on this guy right here. He's getting up right now, so I can't really. I ain't going to take that front on shot at 251 yards. I just want to make sure that uh, I get a good shot. So we're going to hold off and see what happens. Hopefully he'll give me a broadside shot here. There's two uh, one-star adults in there, I think there was. Yeah, they went down. I can't see them because of that hill there. I think that's a resting zone so they're probably not going to wander up this way because they're going to stay around that area so I'm going to have to try to get into a position to where I can get that one star adult I've got a bad wind really if I stay straight through here I'll be okay But if I try to go down, they're going to get my win, so I might just have to wait and see what happens. He might walk back out here in this opening where I can get a shot on him. <clears throat> so I'm just going to try to wait him out. I ain't going to do too much moving around. I'll just end up spooking him. Are they going to get my win? But yeah, I don't think they're going to come up this way because they're in a bedding area resting zone yeah I'd try to uh, I'd try to go down there and move a little closer where I could get down by that woods there and get a shot on him because <clears throat> right now that hill's in the way but with the wind being the way it is I can't go down there So I'm going to try to hold on, hold on for a minute here, see what I can do. Maybe if I try to sneak all the way around, I can get a shot on him. Yeah, I'm going to try to get over in here. So I'll get back with you as soon as I get over there. Try not to spook them. All right, I've made it a little ways over. <clears throat> I didn't make it all the way over where I wanted to, but it don't matter. They've got up and moved out a little bit away from that hill. <clears throat> I got a shot on that one star adult I just gotta wait hopefully he'll get a little bit more broadside so we're gonna stay right look like a heart shot yeah, there was no other ones in here I wanted to shoot. 
So we're going to let them go. We'll check back later. shot I don't know why he dropped like that I mean it was only one long but he dropped like it was a heart shot or a spine shot which I knew it wasn't a spine shot 15% glad to see you go buddy all right I'm going to go up this way. I got to try to get my wind right. This is the way I was going anyway till I seen them animals. Like I said, I'm just more or less scouting around, just looking at stuff and get a few things opened up. Yep, you can shoot some long range over here on this map. Looks like it'd be pretty fun. I'm just not familiar with this map, so I'm going to play it a little bit and try to get more familiar with it. Like I said, I want to try to get a five-star red deer. <clears throat> so I don't know if I'm going to have to manage some herds or if I can get lucky and find one. That's kind of why I'm walking around. Now, if I see any hogs, I'll try to take a couple hogs out. So, I'll do some walking around. I'll get back with you. I've come up on some more mouflon. <clears throat> Got one or two in here it needs taken out. This one right here I think is a one star adult. Need to take him out. I guess I'm in the wrong spot for red deer. Like I said, I haven't been hunting this map. Trying to find some red deer. I keep running into these mouflon. This is a different herd than the first herd I seen and shot that one. So I'm gonna try to take this one out if I can get a shot on him. I think that's him there. Yep, that's him. I didn't check the yardage. But I'm going to go for 100 yards. Yep, dropped him. Pretty sure that was a heart shot. Because this is the prime habitat. Yep, heart shot. Forty percent on the genetics. We'll sell him. All 
All right, I'm gonna keep searching. I'll get back with you guys. I've come up on <clears throat> two brown bears. One's a female. One's a one-star adult. He needs to be taken out. I'm going to see if I can get a shot on him. It's getting kind of late. It's almost dark. One eighty five. I've got to wait for him to get out from that tree there. Looks like a good shot. Yeah, he didn't go far. <clears throat> he might have went 100 yards. 110 maybe. Yeah, they're big animals. Yeah. That was a good shot for the angle I had. It worked out okay. Almost passed all the way, uh, all the way through. That artery helped us out because <clears throat> he only had that one long hit. He would have went a little farther, but that artery helped us out. Thirty-one percent on the genetics. Good job. Three hundred and four dollars. I'll take it. Alright, I've reset the time. 8.30 in the morning. And I'm still in search of... Uh, try to find some red deer. Hopefully get lucky and see a 5 star. At least a 4. So I'm going to go out here and search. And as soon as I find something... I'll get you guys back with me. I got a couple more brown bears right out here in front of me. I crept up in here to see if I could find some red deer. Found a couple brown bears. See what it is here. See if any big ones or I need to take them on out or whatever. A young female. One star adult needs taken out. I'm going to wait till they get over here in the open before I do anything. See how far that is, 140.
He isn't giving me much of an opportunity yet. They're acting like they know I'm here. Like they sense I'm here, but they're not sure. Because he is awful fidgety. Alright, come up in there, buddy. The closer, the better. Nice looking bears. These models they got look good on this game for almost all the animals. So accurate. Yeah, he ain't giving me much, is he? It's like they know I'm here. I hear something over in there. Oh, now I gotta check him again. I think it's the back one. He's bigger. Female's always smaller. Oh, bad shot. Yeah, I rushed my shot because he was moving. <laughs> Let's finish it off. Then things are tough. That's a 300 Magnum. Three times. I think all three of them's in the lungs, but that first shot was a little back. So that's why I got worried. Alright, let's go checking. Yep, no red deer. No red deer today. I'm just going to have to play the this map more so I can get it figured out. I've done, like I said, I've done a little hog hunting on it. Killed a few hogs, but that was about it. So I've got to come over here and start playing more. I like this bear hunting. Them bears is massive. Yeah, these things are big. see that first shot it would have killed him but it took a while he'd have ran forever I knew that first shot was bad I pulled it for one thing trying to hurry up second shot was too forward so the third shot probably was a heart shot that's where I was aiming so yeah, right through the heart. It wouldn't end up that way if I took my time on the first shot. But he was moving around and stuff. I was getting anxious. And that happens. <clears throat> so, I messed up. I would have killed him, but I'd have had to track him for a mile. But that last shot, that's why I shot it. I just know that first shot was bad. I didn't think the second shot was that bad, but it is. Second shot. I don't even think it got any lungs. Got that artery, so that would have killed him. But he still would have ran away. Yeah, so the third shot got him. Heart shot. So I'm glad I took it. 55% on the genetics. Lost a star on the hunt rating because I shot him so many times. We'll sell him. $269. Would have been more if I wouldn't have shot him the third time or even the second time but I didn't want to chase him around alright I think I'm going to call it here I've been hunting a while I just uh, couldn't find any red deer today 
because I have to learn the map. Either that or get on YouTube and watch some of these guys so I know where to go. What is that over there? Looks like something's moving out of the bush over there, out of the woods. Huh, here comes a little red deer. He needs taken out. I've been looking for red deer for an hour and a half, two hours. And right here they are. We've got two adults in there. So I guess I, I will get a red deer hunt in. Because I'm going to take one of these guys here. So it's going to make the hunt a little longer, but at least I found some red deer. No big ones, but some of these need taken out so you can have some big ones by chance. Yeah. I think this one over here looks a little bigger than this one. I don't know how big these herds get, so red deer herds can get pretty big but I don't really see any more back in there yeah before you shoot something you want to check around and make sure there isn't no five stars but I feel confident that there isn't this herd isn't a real big herd but there's probably seven or eight deer, red deer in here. But I only see two stags, so, <clears throat> and they both need taken out, so I'm going to take the biggest one. And it figures he'd be behind, he'd be behind the trees, so I'm going to try to move on him. I'm going to use the Ram 300. I probably could use the 308, but I'm not going to do that. Hundred and eighty two yards. Three hundred ought to be able to take a front end shot at that. Sixty-four. Aim a little high. Good shot. Dropped him. Man, I wish I'd have remembered. I could have took that other one out. I think he just went in the woods there. So I missed him. Yeah, I'm so close to the cabin here instead of walking. Let's get, let's just get the UTV and go get him. <clears throat> instead of walking. star adult that's what you expect for him to look like not too big big bodied animal though just not a wreck but hopefully he'll come back bigger yeah heart shot uh, I'm glad just to get a red deer that's what I was looking for 
so we did get one let's see 68 percent on the genetics that's fine needed to go we're gonna sell him and now i am gonna cut it here been hunting for a while almost a couple hours and getting ready to quit and i seen them red deer over here walking out of that woods but uh appreciate y'all uh, watching like and subscribe and I'll see you the next time I'm out hunting take care